Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PTX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out a, a pretty logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a pretty crazy day. But at the end of the day, the price did make a nice move. Yeah, I get it. It, it pulled back here. But even where it closed right here relative to where it was yesterday, everyone would agree, yeah, that, that was a good move on the bull's part. But that does lead to the question, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that level is right here at $3 and we'll call it 45 cents. Why is 345 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements that are the start of something bigger, you know, that have genuine power, well, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is just getting started and has genuine strength behind it, it's not gonna go back to where it was. So with that being in mind, think about 345. Any sort of closes blowed or worse yet if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back inside of this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this previous base down there. If you picture each of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps starting to make progress in the upwards direction. And again, from the big picture perspective, that's what you wanna see. That's what truly strong moves are gonna do. They're gonna make progress as time unfolds. And I'm just defining and quantifying quote unquote progress as $3.45. Now, what about areas of resistance? Two areas uh, stand out. The first one being the short term one right here at $3.85. And then after 385, next key level where there seems to be qu quite a bit of price congestion right up there at the $4 mark. But uh, before we start talking about, you know, doing battle with $4, you know, first area that the, the bulls got to fight through right there around the $3.80 mark. All in all, though, very interesting day. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum next week? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.